everybody, today we will be making this uh, Taylor's Murfield Aries pen with the TQ Blanks Hybrid. So uh, stay tuned and see how we get on. Hi everybody, uh, it's me, Chris Fisher. Woohoo! Anyway, so I'm doing a pen today uh, and this is a a commission for a neighbour and it's going to be a Taylor's Murfield Aries pen a chrome one I think so uh, the first step is obviously cutting the blank to size and what I do is just make sure that the gap between the fence and the blade is a few millimetres oversized just to give us a bit of wiggle room in there and then I just have a support block there let's just have a quick feel so let's I'm gonna go for that part there hold it in place make sure my hands are well clear of the blade before I start keep your fingers tight against that fence Done. Okay, and now we've got the blank in the uh, the pin jaws, and uh, the drill bit is 10.5 mil. I do believe we'll get this drilled out. Okay, so I have scuffed the tube up with some abrasive paper uh, and used then Chestnut Products Medium CA Glue and Activator to glue it in. So I'm just going to let that rest now for a minute or two whilst I go and set up and prep uh, to use the disc sander to square the ends off. Okay folks, so I'm going to square the ends off now on the disc sander. Uh, I'm going to wear my power cap so I can be safe and healthy. Okay folks, so I've got it mounted on the lathe now uh, and I'm going to use carbide for this acrylic and uh, stabilised wood hybrid. So I'm going to be turning quite fast. Uh, just gently at first, nibble the corners off. Okay, time to sand the fella now. Uh, I'm going to sand it up to 400.
Okay folks, so this hybrid blank, which is uh, actually from TQ Blanks, uh, Mark Lewin, uh, et al. Uh, it's been sanded to 400 the traditional way. And now what it's going to get is, I've got a bath of water here, it's going to get the uh, wet and dry treatment up to, what is it, 12,000 I think. So uh, yeah, happy days. Okay, so starting with the first grit, which is 1500, we just start to carefully sand and polish this. Right folks, it's been sanded up to 12,000, so I've got some burnishing cream here now, so we can give it a polish with that. a little on a piece of tissue, find where I am, let's go. Okay folks, so time for assembly, got the parts laid out in an exploded fashion, so first things first, the nib coupler, so I'll start off with gentle pressure, Let's push that home, lovely jubbly, and then we can get the clip. Move them out of the way before I knock them on the floor. So that's the clip. Make sure things are going in nice and straight, not on an angle because you can force things and split them. So that's cool. So what we need to do now is get the refill and the spring. on the nib mechanism can go in a little bit of a push first and then you can get it going that should be out nibs out nibs gone back in excellent push on the cap and there you have it lovely jubbly one Aries pen with a hybrid blank so it's a Taylor's Murfield Aries uh, and a TQ uh, Blanks hybrid. I think it's called Grapevine, this one. Uh, but anywho, there you go. I'll have to give it another polish now because it's all grubby.